Uh-oh. I woke up today and I noticed the fish Dr. Mario was dead. Uh-oh. So I guess we are down to four fish. Uh, where's Captain Falcon? Where's the flame angel? Uh-oh, could he be hiding? He's not hiding in any of the caves. Where is he, you guys? Hmm, the mystery of the dying fish. I tested the water, did a huge water change, and nothing seems to be wrong. Detective Gatsby, do you know what happened? <laughs> He's on it. Must salute all the fish that gave the life to the aquarium. What an awful way to start the day. I think in order to cheer ourselves up, we should go and get some new fish and upgrade our aquarium. Let's do that. And let's start the vlog. Where did all the fishes go, Gatsby? Since today is such a rainy, gloomy day outside with flash flood warnings, I thought that we would spend the day indoors upgrading our aquarium. Since the fish just died, we do not want the nitrogen cycle to start all over again. We're gonna replace the two fish that just died with two new fish so that the aquarium and the nitrogen cycle and all the bacteria inside don't get confused and start killing themselves off. So we got two new fishes over here, a potter's rest and a flame angel. Time to acclimate. There we go. Both fishies are from Hawaii. Nice. The yellow tang and the melanurus rest are incredibly aggressive to new fish. So what we do is we just stick a picture of a larger tang against the glass and all of a sudden they're like, oh, we're not the biggest fish in the aquarium anymore. So they all of a sudden become super docile. The new fish will probably be really scared too. I'm gonna turn off the lights in a little bit, but I'll just film them entering the aquarium. Butter's leopard dress is so beautiful. So we stuck the book against the glass. So once I turned off the lights, as you can see, the flame angel, Captain Falcon, is just swimming around happily. And while we wait for the fish to acclimate, I thought we would make some lunch. An ahi sushi tower. I stopped off at the Asian market, and this is the ingredients that I got. I just bought this thing here. But really, you can use any kind of cylindrical object, such as a can. And of course, we have some rice. You want to make sure that the rice is cool before we add the next layers. And make sure you pat it down. While we wait for that to cool down, let's start on making the sauces. So we're gonna make a spicy tuna sauce using sriracha sauce and mayonnaise. Mix. We're gonna coat it on the snow crab. Next, let's chop up the sushi grade ahi tuna fish. Nice. Next, in a bowl, we're gonna add half a teaspoon of sesame oil and one teaspoon of soy sauce. Yin and yang. Let's chop up an avocado. This feels like it cooled down. Time to add everything together. Let's add the crab. You wanna push it down a little bit. I don't know what I'm saying, I'm just making it up as I go. Next we add the avocado. This one you have to gently press down. Let's add the ahi tuna. It smells so good already. <laughs> Here it goes, moment of truth time. Ah. Look at that. We gotta add this. I guess this is like caviar, fish eggs. Put it in the center. Toasted sesame seed somewhere in the back. Now let's add our eel sauce, which is similar to a teriyaki sauce. It looks so good, I'm so ready to eat this. One really good way of eating this is like with chips, like corn chips, or with 
wonton chips. But since I have neither of those chips, I'm just gonna eat it with a spoon. I'm gonna get all the layers. It's like an Asian trifle. Mmm. I feel like this is what like royalty eats. It tastes so good. Mmm. 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 Ah. That was so good. It makes me want to. Okay, I'm gonna hit some legs today. See you guys at the gym. And since I have some extra fish eggs, I'm gonna add some to the aquarium and see how the fishies like it. Cannibalism. Apparently this is what a lot of aquarists do. Salt water from the aquarium. The main thing I'm trying to do is to try to make sure that we get the potter's wrasse, zero suit samus, to start eating. There it goes. Going to eat it? He's eating. He's eating it, yes. That's awesome, dude. Today we are gonna be upgrading our aquarium. The nice people at Neptune Systems decided to give me an aquarium controller. What? Aquarium controllers are kind of like a computer. What you do is you plug everything from your aquarium into the power strip and it controls all of your electrical equipment. The Apex controller comes with different probes so it is consistently and constantly testing your water. So for example, if something goes wrong such as the aquarium gets too hot, the controller is smart enough to know to turn off the heater and turn on the fan. If it's still too hot, turn off the lights. Last week, Gatsby and I paid a visit to the Neptune Systems headquarters, which is actually in the Bay Area, and we got a tour of the entire place. It was a really cool factory. I was surprised at how large it was. We got to see how they make the Apex controllers. It was really cool, and at the end, we received our own Neptune Apex unit, which was so awesome, and I'm really excited to use it. Another cool feature is it is Wi-Fi enabled, so you can go anywhere and see the stats on your aquarium, and another thing that's really important is it is a real good safety metric. With an aquarium controller, it can see how much electricity is being sucked up from each of the outlets. If there's something that goes wrong, it can text you. I'm excited to try this out and plug everything up. So let's get started. It's supposed to be really easy. We print out these handy guides over here. And this matches exactly. This over here. Just like that. And there we go. Now we connect these two together. Next, we gotta plug everything into these and program them in. So over here for my automatic top off, I have it set to on, so it will always be working. But as a backup, if the salinity becomes less than 33, which means that it is super, super diluted, for example, it's been topping off for too long for some reason, that this is like an extra redundancy, it'll turn it off. We're gonna upload it and it's sending the information now to the unit. So now all we need to do is plug the auto top off into that outlet over here. And it looks so nice down here. And it is all hooked up. Good news. The weather outside is raining. It's raining like crazy. Would it be, Corgi G? Okay, fine. Let's play. Let's 
sorry it's still raining, Gatsby, but I hope you had a good time. What's a corgi and why does he? What's the word? Korg. Finally, the time has come. That took forever. Woo! Yay! And right now I'm super excited because I'm gonna be meeting up with my friend from college, Emily. She was in a few vlogs a long time ago. Does so she look familiar? She was in that video with uh, Gatsby and Tembi. <laughs> We're gonna grab some Cajun food. Yum! Yes! I had this, our seafood fry. We got like chicken and we got catfish somewhere. I don't even know which one is. I think that might be the catfish. Oh Those God. look like bacon fries. And another cool thing about that aquarium controller is I can actually launch it on my phone and I can track all the stats. I think that's pretty cool. So you can see what's going on with your aquarium from wherever you are. Uh, that's as much as I could eat. We're just reminiscing about Cornell and all the, the stressful times that we had. Our school was all about group projects and so we kind of broke the system because the whole point was to work with other people but we took all of our classes together. We signed up for the classes together, right? We did that. Yeah, so, and so what happens is we ended up just taking all the classes together and doing all the group projects together. Because we're like, we know how, we like, we work like together really well and we just wanted to like make sure that we didn't have to deal with any stresses of like working with other people. So that's what we ended up doing for all four years at Cornell. <laughs> and it worked out. That was the trick. Yeah, that, that was the trick. So nice meeting and catching up with my friend Emily again from college. Brought back a lot of good college memories. Make sure if you want to check out either our calendar or our t-shirts to go to corgionfleek.com as well. Gatsby is getting really close to 100,000 subscribers on his own channel, Great Gatsby Corgi, which is really awesome. Yeah? And other than that, we're going to head to bed. We'll see you guys in the next vlog. Yeah, Gatsby, thank you. Good night. Everyone's here to surprise Gatsby! Woo! I'm gonna go and get him from the car. Here we go. Wait, wait. Oh, oh, no! No! <laughs>